we had a Reb Zechariah Wallerstein. Zech Tzadik Lebracha. A guy that was told, and he told this to me personally, and he said it many times on his classes, a guy that was told by many educators that nothing big will ever come out of him. He'll never amount to anything special. He had a little bit, I don't know if you picked it up, he had a slight lisp. They told him he'll never ever be a speaker, forget about that, never. He'll never be a Rebbe. He'll never be an educator. No way. Who knows what's going to come out of this guy? Educator. Not only did his didashot reach four corners of the world as one of the most sought after speakers in Klal Yisrael. Not only he was a top, top Rebbe in Yeshiva Mil Basin and he turned the lives around of so many boys that so many people couldn't reach. They didn't know the Molocha of how to reach them. But he was a man with a vision and foresight that did things for Klal Yisrael. That he, Reb Zechariah, especially when it came to our righteous women, broke down doors that no one had even the omits to begin to bang on. And he broke down those doors. And he didn't care. He went and opened the ranch because they needed it. He opened Ornava because they needed it. He opened everything he did because Klal Yisrael needed it. He went flying around the world, Avinu Malkeinu here, Avinu Malkeinu here, Avinu Malkeinu there, because Klal Yisrael needed it. He had every door locked on him. Every door was slammed on his face. No one gave the guy a break. Nobody. And he did never threw in the towel. Never gave up. He continued to scream and continued to fight and continued to break down doors. You go online and listen to some of his speeches by the Aguda Conventions. You'll hear what I'm talking about. He came there with fire, crying, screaming in front of Gidolim, in front of Klal Yisrael about the plight of so many of our young and how so many were getting a very raw deal and so many needed so different of a style of Yeshuot and education. But th th this, these are the people today that are persevering. These are the ones that are carrying Klal Yisra. How many of us were told by someone at some point in life, in our journey, that nothing was meant to come good out of you? How many of us were made to feel like we were below average? We just didn't have what it takes to succeed. How many of us were made to feel like we were dumb? Dumb. That we just didn't have the kalim to become anything real, anything good, anything powerful. How many of us? And we are still holding on to the pain of all those people that call themselves guidance and educators. Little did they know how many neshamot they broke. But in the interim, you should know a word of consolement that yes they trampled on you yes they broke you as they broke many of us but I do want to tell you they put you in a position to give you the anger and the fight to want to fight back to become great because it was them who put your back to the wall and slammed the door on your face and put you in a position to bring out your biggest strength, the greatest compliment Hashem, that where everything was closed back on you in dark, you didn't throw in the towel. You didn't give up. But instead, you screamed, Abba, I still have another round. I'm going to break this through. You're going to help me and I'm going to show them that I'm going to become something great in Klal Israel. And that's the greatness of our generation. Thank you for listening.